Today I want to show you how to set up groups in email. So you're going to go to your Gmail account and up here at the top uh, where you see mail, you can go ahead and go down to contacts. And that's going to switch you over to this screen. And you are going to create a new contact. And when you do, you'll see this little icon here that says groups. And you can create a new group. So if you wanted to create a group called parent parents for 2015-16, you can go ahead and create that group. And then you will should see that group over here on the side. And when you click into that group up here at the top, you can then start to add your emails into this group. So uh, if you're adding staff members, they'll auto-populate. But if you are adding uh, parents, then you'll have to add those in or, or copy and paste them in from a list. If you have uh, staff members or, or people that you add to the group that you want to delete, you can come over here. You can rename the group. You can delete a contact. You can uh, manage that, that group. And so uh, then once you uh, go back to your mail, when you start to compose an email, you should see um, that parent group come up can't remember what I called it, parents 2015-16, um, but you should see it come up here. Um, you'll notice that a lot there's a lot of different groups in here, so I may want to go in and clean out some of my groups as well. Now, if you're adding staff members to a group, I would encourage you to create a Google group. Um, you can do that over here uh, under groups, and then that way uh, that group can be used to share documents. It can be used by multiple people. If you create a group in your email, it is only your group. It can't be shared with anyone else. But if you do create a group with staff members uh, and you want to do it in email versus in Google Groups, I would encourage you to make sure that you use their at 277 apps account, and that way you can share anything with them. So that's just a quick look at how to create a group in your Google Groups and, or excuse me, in your Gmail or in your Google Groups and that should help you with management of multiple emails.